to now turn to meteorologist Brittany Beggs back in the studio. And not a bad afternoon to get out and take a walk if people want to get outside, Brittany. A good afternoon. Yeah, take that dog for a long walk today. A little breezy at times, so you might need a sweater at least or a light jacket. Pollen counts, they're in, and it's still high. It's still in the very high category. Uh, it dropped a little bit. It's still in the 2400, so it's still really high. We've got pine, poplar, dogwood, and pears. They're our biggest allergens. Before we know it, we're going to be talking about grass as the biggest allergen here over the next couple of months. And then we're going to be talking about ragweed. Uh, so our pollen forecast gets really important as we head into the next couple of weeks. Air quality, the AQI today is 47, so it is good. And our low, uh, our mold continues to stay low. That hasn't changed. So right now it is cool. Usually with cooler temperatures, it knocks our pollen a little bit down. We should see this trend a little bit through the weekend. Right now, low 60s. Altamont is in the mid 50s and so is Blue Ridge. Those are our cold spots currently. Winds out there are going to continue to increase too. This will continue through this evening and then by about oh, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., our winds are going to subside. But winds are out of the west-northwest today and they are already gusting. So here's our afternoon planner. Those clouds are moving out. It'll be clear this evening. It'll be a cool evening for us. It's actually going to be really comfortable. It would be a good night if you can handle the pollen. It'd be a good night to open up those windows. To overnight, it's going to be colder. We're going to be in the low 40s overnight. And then a few clouds are going to roll in tomorrow during the day. Tomorrow, for the most part, we stay rain free, though. So our rain chance is still with us, though, for Saturday. So here's our cold lows tonight. I do not expect a frost advisory to be issued. We are just going to flirt with the 30s for our northern counties tonight, uh, but it's going to be, I think, in the upper 30s. I don't see low 30s. So as far as a frost potential, I just don't think it's there. Usually you need several hours, and I don't think that's going to happen. 42 tonight in Chattanooga, 43 in uh, Dalton, and 46 milder uh, night tonight for the Fort Payne area. So here's tomorrow's planner. You're waking up, kids are going on the bus. It's going to be chilly for them. They're going to need jackets at least tomorrow morning as they're waiting for the bus. 42, 43 degrees. Sunshine and then more clouds. Highs tomorrow in the upper 60s to maybe, maybe flirting with 70 degrees. So let me show you Vipercast. We'll put this all the way through Saturday. Here's the Vipercast at 830. I think these are just going to be mid and high level clouds during that time. Clouds will be increasing Friday night. Showers start up late, early tomorrow, early Saturday morning. The Viper cast has been showing this over the last couple of days. So the general consensus is rain starting up from Fort Payne and over Floyd County there. That's one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. Very light stuff increases Saturday afternoon. The change from yesterday as we were thinking the rain would be done by noon, but it looks like this is going to start up for most of us very light. It'll start up uh, late morning, continue through the afternoon hours. This will be very light though. So if you've got outdoor plans on Saturday, if you're going to be outside, maybe just have something that has a hoodie over it. We don't see heavy rain, but we've got enough that's going to be causing some wet roads on Saturday. New Viper cast is showing about a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain just for Saturday. So I don't see heavy rainfall and I don't see thunderstorms or won't be anything organized, uh, but an April shower is coming our way for Saturday. So there's the new seven day forecast. Notice Saturday have only got us up to 60 degrees as well. From what I understand, the Lookout Valley uh, market days, it's every uh, every other Saturday.